Alright, I think it's recording. Um, hello. It's been quite a while since I've been, you know, doing these tarot readings and stuff like that. And, um, I figured I could mentally go back and do this kind of stuff and everything like that. Um, it's just nice to take a break sometimes. It's nice to kind of reassuscitate yourself and just kind of reconstruct everything. And then, you know, come back when you feel most... sword sound I guess so yeah here I am with a tarot reading and just kind of a little catch up and everything like that um yeah so different setting I live back with my dad um this is my old bedroom here but um I kind of use this as an office me and my sister kind of use it um and uh yeah so usually I just sleep on the couch but that's okay but, um, yeah, so my bunnies are back here with me. Um, we got a rescue bunny, so we have three bunnies now running around, and that's really lovely and everything like that. Um, yeah, I had, like, a, a hiccup with my landlord where they were like, oh, you didn't pay me. And I was like, obviously I did, you know. Here's the proof, but they don't want to believe me. It was probably, it was probably for the best, you know. He was a slow lord anyway. So, yeah. And, uh, I just didn't find any, I wasn't really wanting to go back to the roommate route, um, because I've lived with roommates before and don't want to do that again. Um, and then I couldn't find a nice affordable place for myself, just for me, because everything was going up, like, way past the grand where I lived, so that was pretty upsetting, but, um, yeah, so my dad was just like, you know, you can come back here whether it's temporary or whatnot, you know, do whatever you want to do, just, you know, so yeah, no, that's, that's actually, it made me feel a lot better, you know, um, growing up, you know, I wouldn't say that, like, me and my family had, like, a, a strain, but I, I always felt, like, kind of, like, an outsider to them and everything like that, but, um, it's nice, because, like, now that I'm older, and, you know, you just kind of, whether it just be time and just, and, whatever you kind of start to develop that relationship back not just with my dad but uh with my sister as well um a twin um but yeah just like kind of slowly start developing back those family familial relations are very heartwarming and especially you know because I didn't you know where I didn't really have what to do and it was kind of like all of a sudden so whether it be temporary or not I'm back here which I'm very thankful for, and thankful for my dad, um, and my sister, and, uh, just to be thankful, just, you know, and that kind of stuff, but yeah, so there's that, um, I keep hearing my bunnies run around and stuff like that, but yeah, so it's very different being back here and everything like that, it's kind of different, because, like, when you're on your own, you have your own set of schedule, you know, whether you live with people or whatnot, but, like, when you're on your own, you have your own kind of set of things, and kind of, uh, what's the word? Routine, I say. Routine, and also, too, like, I was really happy, because, like, my apartment before, um, moving back here, um, I loved being on my own. Like, I loved the fact that I didn't have to live with a roommate or kind of have to deal with the whole, like, it was my place, it was my own. Like, I love the fact not living with people and everything like that, and it was very dear to me, very special to me. But, um, you know, as I'm hearing from my one friend Vinny say, <coughs> <coughs> excuse me, that uh, everything happens for a reason, and, uh, yeah. So I'm trying to really uh, kind of keep that hope, because, you know, I had a lot of hiccups, um, since being back here and stuff like that, a lot of, you know, things that did not go to plan or things that kind of surprised me or things that kind of wouldn't set me back, but really, you know, took me for a spin and everything like that. And, you know, just kind of like I, I'm learning now, um, because I always have like some sort of plan in my head of what I want to do. And like, I try not to plan out my life, you know, forever, you know, like, but I, I do have goals and stuff that I want to reach and want to do and, you know, 
that's kind of uh, what I strive for. You know, I have like my little planner. Where's my planner? I think this is mine. Because I have another purple notebook just like this, but. Where's my purple notebook? I have another notebook like this. It is right over here. Because I was doing some rearranging because the bunnies are running around here. And what they love to do is eat my notebooks and eat my papers and eat everything they deem worthy to be eaten. So I kind of had to put stuff on the top shelf if that makes sense. But yeah, it's either down there in the shelf or because I have like a little stack of, you know, notebooks right here because my diary and then I have general notes and stuff like that. Well, it exists. Just, just take my word that it exists and stuff like that. But that's been really helping me, you know, and just kind of keeping a, a daily kind of thing of what to do and how to get through it and just tasks that I have to get done because my mind's been very um, distracted and very, what's the word? I wouldn't say distracted, but more or less depressed because there's a lot of things, you know, that didn't really go as planned or kind of like really, like I said, took my, uh, my spin for the worst and everything like that. So just kind of, you know, resuscitating and trying to build yourself back up from all that because I was depressed. I still am depressed, but the depression like really got a hold of me for a little bit and, um, and not really having a lot of money uh, was very different to um, just from, you know, when you live by yourself, you don't have, you know, other people paying the bill with you or whatnot or all that kind of stuff, you know, you don't have that. Um, and then, yeah, so like, back here now, of course, you know, I'll, I'll help out whenever they need something, but, um, like, financially or anything like that, but, uh, it's different, um, definitely different being back home. I also, I kind of appreciate it a little bit more, um, than I thought I would, just because, like, I thought, you know, oh, I have uh, siblings, uh, I don't have to deal with that, blah, 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 or, oh, you know, because, like, I don't know, like, you feel a little bit more adult when you live on your own. And especially living on my own, like having that chance to be able to live on my own and not like with people and just not, you know, like I never really had that. And um, I really did, you know, I loved it. My, my dear loving tablet keeps going off. Um, I really loved that. And I loved the whole routine aspect, you know, of it. I loved taking like 3 a.m. baths and not having people like, be pissed off that I was taking a bath at 3 a.m. You know, like, I, I loved that. Like, that was, like, a, a big joy to me. Because, like, when nights when I couldn't sleep or whatever, or it was too hot, because it's the summertime, it gets humid here in VA. Um, I'm not sure about other places, because I know there's, like, other places that are, like, really detrimentally hot. But, uh, yeah, like, here in PA, it gets really humid. And having, like, a nice cool bath or, like, if it gets too cold, having like a nice warm bath is like always a big plus. Like I love lighting candles by a bath and just, you know, sitting in it and just kind of relaxing. And, Cause it's like at that moment, you know, my brain shuts off and like kind of like, I don't have to worry about, okay, like what do I gotta do after this? Or what do I, you know, like it, it really does help with stress or trying to uh, alleviate any tension that's something that I really, really enjoy. Like now, you know, living back in my, you know, my dad's and stuff like that, it's kind of different where the fact is, it's kind of like, sorry, I thought my phone was vibrating, but um, it's kind of different, you know, the fact like, oh, you're up at three? What are you doing? What's going on? Like, it's not that, that bad, because, like I said, you know, big house, and all that kind of stuff, which is like, it's, it's okay, it's nice, you know, it really is nice. And, uh, you know, for the time being, it was really nice, and it was an experience, and 
it was sad that it came to be how it came to be and you know and it sucks when you know you feel like life screws you over or people screw you over but I'm trying not to let it bother me and stuff like that and I'm sure a lot of people feel that way too you know and I'm just trying not to let it bother me try not to think about it but uh yeah and like another thing that's been helping me too is you know hang out with some friends and stuff like that and just kind of you know being with that and everything like that I have a lot of I have more musician friends than I did before and hanging out with them and you know because I thought about uh playing live and like my one friend wants me to play live with them and their band and stuff like that but you know like just being around a new crowd of people because like I didn't have like a lot of musician friends but like before but like in general just being around people that like have that positive energy and have that you know sense of longing to make sure that you're okay really helps a lot and they're like you know it's like that free spirit happiness and stuff that I, I really love hi family you coming in Wilco? a little away they keep running back and forth which is adorable very very adorable but yeah it's different like I've done a lot of you know things that in this year and like the end of last year that were just like things that I never thought I would be able to do and stuff like that and you know like I, I always had like a set plan of what I wanted to do in life in the next year you know and I'm trying not to uh because I still want to move out west and stuff like that but I'm going to find roommates that I trust either or just buy my own little house like me and my one friend we're like yeah we'll share a little house together and stuff because it's expensive living out there um I don't really want to do the roommate route but that's okay though because it's someone that I trust and stuff like that so but anyways you know like I gotta worry about you know saving up building up that money back and you know um resuscitating back up in here because you know a lot of stuff has happened in like the last three months three four months a lot of stuff a lot of shit uh went downhill a lot of shit that happened and you know it's just everyone goes through that you know trying to resuscitate and go back and trying to pick up the pieces because you aren't like when something significant happens to you or whatnot and it it wasn't just like that there was like other things that happened but I don't really want to discuss it but when something significant happens to you or significant things happen to you in such a short amount of time it's like when you're done with it you're like a completely changed person completely different completely like you still see remnants of yourself but you don't really feel like yourself you don't really react the same way anymore you know like I think like the biggest thing that like this year probably is even though it's already October it's not even December but a big eye-opener for me was just you know things aren't they don't go as planned hi uh, all three of you are giving me the greeting Tender. big bud don't run away big bud ran away but um yeah a lot of stuff <gasps> Bailey, have you come back to me that you'll go with your whitey i love when they come back Chatter. oh tetor i love it because they're running around and stuff and can you not <sighs> now he's trying to chew the shelf i knew it was gonna happen but um yeah i think everybody feels or gets into that space of like a growing pain and you know I've had more growing pains this in last year than I've ever thought would be possible. I really hope you're not gonna chew my shoes. I have like a shoe rack there. And that's my sister's closet because she needs two closets for her clothes and stuff. And then I have the closet over there. I don't know if you can see There she is. There she is. She's just trying to climb up stuff and everything. I have a heater there. I have like 
their pillow and blanket there that I have to uh, fold up and stuff. Hi. I want to pick her up so badly and just you know show her her little face. I love it because every time I pick her up, she hyperventilates, which is kind of cute. But yeah. Anyway, back on track. So yeah, it's kind of the the boat that I'm in. I feel like everybody goes through those things sometimes, you know. It's unexpected. Life is unexpected, and you know, I just want you to have faith that you'll get through it. Cause there's sometimes where I, many times this month especially and last month, that I've lost faith, and you know, you just can't lose faith. I keep, I have like that little voice in my head that you can't just lose faith and stuff like that. But I also had that voice in my head that you know, like okay here it is, you just gotta deal with it and just, you know, carry on. Just gotta deal with it. And I never had that in my head before because I always think, oh yeah, there's some sort of different thing that I could do to make it better. Oh yeah, there's something that I could have done to do it this way. But like I've gotten to that point where like, like my mind is now thinking differently where like, you just have to accept what is and just kind of, you know, carry on that way. Whether it be something good, something bad, or something just out of your control. In general, you know, you just kind of have to like accept it and then just kind of carry on. You know, you can't just move on. Like, people move on at different places. I'm like the kind of person that like has to, like, okay, I can't dwell on it. I have to focus on this task. But like now I'm just kind of like, oh, there it is. Okay, that sucks. But, uh, it sucks, it hurts, carry on with my day, but it's different, instead of avoiding the problem, it's kind of like, or avoiding the issue, avoiding the hurt, avoiding whatever, it's kind of like, okay, there it is, there's this thing, there's that, and, uh, okay, so how are we going to accommodate that, how are we going to deal with that? I've been trying to give myself more pats on the backs and stuff like that and just because you know I have a lot of you know sad stuff that's happened um but uh I don't know like you can't control the sadness you can't control the uncontrollable you know you really want to and like I guess another thing that I've been trying to do which is kind of okay so this is a really shitty day let me try to get through into a happier moment or a a, a, a more serene moment that I could save for later and just keep me going. If you break my guitars, I'm going to be very mad. Don't you touch my mandolin. I'm watching you, girl. You bun Bailey. Let me even poop or pee on me. She doesn't do that. She only does it to my sister. Hey. She makes a debut. She makes a pretty little debut. Oh. Hey! See, she's very large for a normal rabbit that I'm used to. She does not like being picked up whatsoever because she, she is quite large and just doesn't like to be picked up in general it's better than the other time because like when i picked her up and i was trying to carry her to like clean up the mess that she made she like kicked me and like hit my jaw and i was like oh god there goes my jaw she's come back for more not today bailey not today she's very fluffy she has a lot of fur on her She's a pretty girl though. She, she's very uh, temperamental, but she's okay. But yeah, that's that. Um, I just hope, you know, if you're having a bad day, you're having a fun time, just remember, you know, we'll enter in the, the fun, the song by fun carry on. Carry on. Do that instead. Another good thing is that I guess.
as my iPhone uh, it works now but it gets kind of funky with the battery and I really changed out the battery before and I just I was told like eh you might as well just get your stuff off of it now because it's just gonna shit the bed later but you know it doesn't shit the bed my trusty dusty flip phone oh another thing too is that like I kind of do my nails here and there, but I really, I decided to do some self-care today. I kind of cut them a little bit short because they're easier to maintain. But uh, I think that maybe that was like a highlight of my day, get my nails all purdied up. Because they're like this like kind of creamy color. Do Also too, do something like that, you know, do a little self-care because you never know. Sometimes it helps too. I love doing my nails. Because it just gets me lost in thought and stuff. But anyways, think of a problem or situation that you want you know, clarity on and we'll get to it, you know? Any sort of problem or any sort of situation that kind of uh, that you want some clarity or you just need some advice or whatnot. I'm picking from the top of the deck. So six Virgo. Three Gemini. Ooh, we got Mercury. So communication, or maybe just I sense speed. So maybe your mind's going like 90 miles per second, or even faster than that. Nine Sagittarius. Yeah. Nine Sagittarius. I feel like your spinning is going into a, some sort of direction. Like you're trying to get into some sort of direction and stuff like that. Um. So yeah. I sense that you're spinning out of control right at this moment, but you're trying to spin in towards some sort of direction, some sort of end goal, some sort of uh, clarification that you're trying to reach for. And it's not like you need clarity on something, it's more or less you're trying to get your way into some sort of goal. Five Leo. Um, I sense that maybe you're having some ego issues, maybe you're not feeling good enough for anything, or maybe you're just feeling very hurt by something. Um, I sense that maybe you're very out of control with your feelings at times, or very out of control with your self-worth. I sense that you take it out on a lot of people when you feel out of control. Maybe you say nasty things that you don't mean, or do nasty, um, things. Like, I don't sense, like, you punch people, but you, like, freak out on someone and then they're like, hey, what did I do? Um, I sense that. And like, it ends on cancer. So I feel like your, your biggest end goal is just trying to take care of yourself, trying to take care of your home life balance. I feel like you're going to have some money issues along the way. Sorry to say this, I'm very, you know, I don't want to alarm you, but I feel like you're going to have some sort of financial problem um, that like, you just gotta bounce back from. Um, you have to keep that faith that, you know, you're going to be okay financially. Also, too, with home, maybe you're having a lot of arguments at home. Um, or maybe you're having a lot of arguments with, excuse me, um, a lot of people in general. I drink my water. Get your tea, get your water. And tarot people, people who want to see me ramble for an hour. But uh, yeah, so I sense that. I sense a lot of cancer and energy of like in a shell. So maybe you're, you're not opening up, like you're opening up to people when you're frustrated, but you're not opening up to people when you're happy. So I sense that a lot of people are asking, hey, are you happy? Hey, are you okay? Just cause they see you freak out a lot or they see you kind of be, what's the word? Angry a lot. And then you're like, yeah, I'm fine. I'm smiling, aren't I? But they're kind of taken aback by this because they know that you're going through a rough time or you're going through some sort of hardship and you just feel like the world is against you. You feel like people are against you, which is not a good thing to think about. Trust me, I know. Um, 12 Piscean Energy. I sense you're trying to escape reality, escape something. And then 8, like a lot of water energy here. Like Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, a lot of water energy. You're trying to escape your emotions, maybe. You're trying to, if not escape your emotions, escape reality. Because um, I sense that you are an emotional person. You are very, um, not high strung, 
but you can come off as high strung when you are emotionally pushed to the limit or pushed to a limit or a boundary is um, crossed. Um, I sense that with you. And then it kind of ends on Earth energy, which is very interesting. To Taurus, and then it goes to Capricorn. So since you're trying to find some sort of stability, but you have a lot of things that are staying away, maybe I keep getting the words addictions, but I'm not addictions, but more or less um, things that are taking up your time, taking up your energy, kind of sucking the life out of you in some sort of way. So that could be just financials. Like I said, you're going through some sort of financial hardship, but um, it could just be in general, just not feeling um, like people are on your side, that people are either hearing you out or people are um, understanding where you're coming from. Like you feel very misunderstood. And the thing is, is that you can explain yourself, but you're not. Um, to the people that you want to explain yourself to, it's either that they don't understand you, they don't want to hear what you have to say, or my guess the biggest thing is, is that you're not communicating with them properly. You're not telling them exactly how you feel and exactly how you're trying to handle everything. And that's what sucks. We have the seven Libra too. You know, you're just trying to find some sort of balance and just some sort of diplomatic, diplomatic kind of resolution. You know, you're trying to be fair um, to something in life, but you know, it's sucking the life out of you. It's sucking the energy. It's very interesting because we have the two A's even though it's Aries and Aquarius, AA. Um, maybe that's something. Maybe you're going to some addictions. Maybe you've been to some AA meetings. That could be it. It's also one, 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 you know? A lot of ones here. Ones are good energy. Keep the vibrations up. But um, Aries and Aquarius. So you do have a temper on you. You do have a lot of anger, A, anger. A addictions and it's just it's, it's not like it is sucking the life out of you but it's also too like it's kind of like I don't want to say you create your own mess but I sense that you feel like you create your own messes or you feel like you put yourself into situations where other people um, betray you hurt you or get you in trouble but you're not, the biggest thing you're not realizing is, is that sometimes things, like even just me in general, like I feel like everybody, we do sometimes situations that happen to us um, come at random or we just kind of have to maneuver it, but sometimes the cause of our issues could also be ourselves as well, you know? Like if I, um, like I have a, I gotta think of an example. Something that didn't, oh yeah, I'll even say it right here because I'm kind of depressed about it a little bit. But um, I bought a ring, uh, one of my favorite rings. It was like this pretty like kind of titanium, it had like, like little stones on it. It was pretty, it was cute, it was dainty, it was lovely. Um, it was one of my favorite things to wear, you know, everyday wear because I, I like to wear jewelry. J rings are kind of like my, my specialty. Um, but um thing was is that like I was at a dressing room y yesterday and um i was oh dear before i that kind of felt weird on my finger but um because i'm playing with my rings but um i was trying on some athletic shorts because i wanted to get some athletic shorts because i'm trying to work out some more get back into shape you know get that you know six pack and stuff and just be healthy feel healthy trying to Maybe exercise can help my slump and stuff because that could help too. But anyways, I bought them. I was like, ooh, these are nice. And then I walked out of the store because it was like a thrift store. And I walked out of the thrift store and I felt like on top of the world. I went with one of my friends. I dropped them off. And then after that, I was going back, driving my way. And then I, because instinctively sometimes like I'll do this as you just saw or um, kind of like I'll play around a little bit. I think it's just kind of like a nervous habit of mine. But um, yeah, and I was like playing around with my finger. I was like, it's bare, why is it bare? 
and I didn't realize click into my head that I was like, oh my god, because I was just about pulling into the driveway. And I was like, oh my god, I don't have the ring, where is it? And then I checked my purse because I left it on the hook of my purse while I was, you know, because I, I'm not going to find my purse. Anyways, I'll take, I use this purse. But there's usually sides on your purse, and I usually have like little hookies where I'll hook my key, I'll hook hand sanitizer, I'll hook like something like that I want that is easy and accessible because accessibility and just kind of that's what I am. But, um, yeah, so then I was, like, looking at it, I was, like, it's not there. Where is it? And, um, because I was, like, I don't remember it being the car. I checked the car. It's not there. And then I don't remember hearing it drop outside the parking lot because we were, I was, like, parked right by the entrance. And I was, like, it must have been in the store because I remember I put it on, um, the hook. Like, one of the, like, not, like, directly on the hook, but there's, like, a little... Like, I had, like, the one hook on and then, like, a keychain on here. So then I hooked it on to part of that keychain. And I was like, it's right there. And I was like, oh, it's not there anymore. And I was like, frantically, I was like, it has to be in the the dressing room. Because when I was trying on clothes, I kept moving my purse around. And I don't recall, you know, taking it off the purse. And, yeah, I was very upset because, like, that was expensive. That was, like, 70 bucks. Don't judge me. It was a very pretty, well-quality ring, and it was someone on Etsy, so support your small businesses. But, um, because, like, I try to, you know, support small, uh, your small businesses. But anyways, um, I'm very meticulous about my purchases, obviously, thrift store, whatever. But, like, that was the most expensive thing that I had um, in my jewelry thing and I was very depressed because well sad I can't keep saying depressed because you know that's kind of sucky but um because I just think it'd be the wrong context but uh I felt so depressed about it because of the fact I was like that was like $70 that was one of my favorite things to wear because I would wear it every day obviously and now it's gone and I was calling the lady at the store and then she was like I don't see it in the dressing room but we do a sweeping every night and we didn't see it um but uh you know we could check the cameras if you want but i think if somebody took it we can't really stop them which like kind of like i was like sad so sad so sad and like the biggest reason why i was like really sad because it was just like a one time thing cuz like i looked on it online from when I purchased it on SC to see if it's still available and it was like sold out and I was like really sad I was like that really so sad um but yeah like it was like I was like that was expensive that was one of my favorite things to wear and stuff like that you know and that was like the most expensive thing that I had besides like this before I fucking break everything in my fucking life Ugh. that's okay Nikki you're okay but uh this is my grandmother's brooch. I think it's either my great grandmother's or my grandmother's as I just drop it on the floor. It's a beautiful little white rose. I'll wear it here and there, but it's because it's so like it it obviously it's it's so irreplaceable, so valuable that like if I lost something like that I'd I'd probably die. Um so yeah, like it's just like something like that and you know, it was my fault, my issue because I should have put it in my pocket, I should have checked to see if it was on um, like someplace secure instead of just hooking it on someplace that I think looks secure instead of just being like eh, but that was my fault, it was my fault for bringing it in, my fault for um, not, because of, of course I'm very careful with stuff um, and it was like my fault for not being careful. So I lost the ring. My issue, my fault. Can't blame anyone else but myself. So I know that was a pretty lengthy and very um, weird point, but that's the point that I was trying to make is that sometimes, you know, things that happen, you don't mean it or you think that it's not going to go badly, but you just do it anyway. Or, you know, sometimes it's kind of the thing where you know it's going to end badly, but you just do it anyway just because, you know, the hope or whatnot. 
and then you get like bit back in the ass later on so yeah uh like kind of like that situation that kind of thing you know and you just can't help but feel angry at yourself feel very you know disappointed in yourself maybe and you just wish that you know things could be not the way they are but sometimes you just can't help it i'm gonna get a couple of speech from this beautiful deck here but yeah you know and like even when you try to fix the problem or try to resu um resurrect the situation and in, in hopes to fix it or solve it you know you are only human you're not super person you know you can't i mess it up straight but uh, you can't you know try to make sure that yourself um does the right thing every single time and i only say that because is that we are human beings we're not if we do the right thing every single time, then we're not going to learn anything. We're just going to be careful about life. We're not going to have any. So, like, life is full of hiccups, I guess is what I'm trying to say. My hair is humid AF, but that's okay. Chill the fuck out and breathe the fuck in. So, yeah. So, just, you know, kind of taking some time for yourself and just... I get palm trees, waves, beach, so maybe... You're going to the beach. I sense that maybe you'll be going to the beach or visiting the beach or driving by a beach or whatever it is. But something with the beach that will be happening to you shortly. Um, maybe like it's kind of like I can just imagine you walking with someone. I feel like this heaviness in my heart. So like you, you'll be going through kind of a depressed day. But like you're anxious, you're worried about certain things and about life in general but like you can just you will get the sense that what i'm telling you is that you just have to kind of sit there and say to yourself is that you can't worry now um you have to focus on what's going on in your life that you can control and just kind of like take a breather take a uh take a uh, i wouldn't say chill pill but take a time out resuscitate yourself Sometimes you just need that resuscitation. I like it when they drop to the floor. Choose the path of nope today. Nope, double nope, hard nope. So yeah, um, I sense in like it's all cactus. So maybe something with cactus. I think of like the desert when I think of cacti. I don't know why. Well, obviously you know why, but still. I'm just thinking of desert for some weird reason, too. Um, sand, desert, I don't know. But um, you have to, like, I, since you'll be traveling where there's cacti as well, too, um, you're going to have a lot of red flags going off in your brain. And you have to listen to them. Like, you have to listen to yourself in doing that because I sense this big thing of, like, it's not that you're not listening to yourself, but it's like you're going through these same cycles and just kind of, you know that you're getting yourself into trouble by continuing on, but you do it anyway because you want to please people or you want to please um, the situation. You hope that maybe something better will come out of it, but I sense you're just in this negative situation, negative energy, and you some parts of it is like you dimming down from it but you keep doing this to yourself you keep putting yourself into that situation over and over of regret of anger of frustration of really doubting yourself so then why do you do it anyway you just do it is it just because you like feeling stressed or whatnot or is it just because you're confused and lost you know like these are hard questions that you have to ask yourself and ask what you want out of life because yes a day is a day but a lot can happen a day and a lot can happen to change your perspective, change your mindset and everything like that. Take a hint from the sloth, slow the fuck down. But yeah, like I said about racing thoughts and stuff like that, maybe you just have a lot of things going on. You just need some time to kind of, you know, like chill the fuck out, like I said. Go to the beach. Do something that takes your mind into ease. I know my favorite thing ever since moving back here 
um, like I love going on walks in general, but um, where I live in Oliphant um, now, but uh, living in Oliphant, I love the concession or like kind of thrift stores that we have on the main street. It's like a small main street. It's a small town. Um, it's it's tiny, but like there's like I love now like since coming back here because before some of them were vacant because of COVID and all that, and even before. But seeing all of them filled out or being of use or in use really makes me happy um, because it's like that sense of liveliness again, that sense of, whoa, everything's going on and stuff. And like my favorite thing to do as like a young, you know, kid and just, you know, as a young adult now is to go window shopping. I like to go to antique stores. I like to go shop around and just look not buy anything if i feel like i want to buy something i'll buy something but usually just to kind of window shop because it gets your ideas going it, it it really does get your mind off of it but i love especially antique shopping or thrift shopping because you never know what you might find um and it's kind of like transports you into another place you know i love going to the mall and just kind of like walking around and just looking at stuff and just kind of like be engulfed in anything other than what's up in here or what's around that I can't control and like especially with thrift shopping and antique shopping um down here because it's I can literally just walk like five minutes to the main street and just kind of walk in window shop and just kind of get lost in it you know and like just kind of have those small little moments of like kind of getting lost in it and I just I I enjoy that that's like my one thing to do you know like um, like I'll show you because I besides jewelry I have like other stuff that I buy besides jewelry but I'm a sucker for jewelry which I feel I feel like everyone has their weird I don't like you know like spend a shit ton like I control myself but I love looking at um, furniture and jewelry because like it's pretty pretty dope I guess I mean, you don't have to agree with me, you just have to kind of either skip or listen to me read it. But I got this, which is actually really nice to have. It's like a little travel thing for like my everyday kind of stuff, because I, yeah, necklace chains and stuff, and this is something that I got, um, shopping and everything like that, and uh, finding that, and now I have like a place to, like I said, put all my, uh, my everyday stuff here um because i was especially for like chains and rings and stuff extra chains and rings um that i don't have cases for i could just put there but yeah um okay. got that uh okay. bought these gender they're like this beautiful blue sapphire I hope this and I hope you know if you enjoy this. I don't know if you enjoy this or not. I don't have to. I know I'm not the most exciting person in the world. But yeah, what's that? Uh I'm fires and donuts. That actually got those earrings I got from Etsy, but the backs of it I got from the antique store. But these which ones did I get from? These more a little shop going around it's like cute little cluster stones they're gold if you can't see like it looks like probably fake gold but I don't care but that's something that I got Ooh, I got this now keep in mind I don't like this is just a, a span of the several months that I've been home and like these are mostly like what three dollars max so rose gold beautiful it's a flower and I don't have really a lot of rose gold because rose gold is kind of hard to find I feel it's hard to find or at least, you know, in general, like, now gold is the thing and silver, but not a lot of people like rose gold. I like rose gold here and there. Um, I got 
this. I love the little pink marquees. It's like supposed to be, this was really nice. This was like 10 bucks, but it was like, I forget. She said that it was like kind of like laser infused gold or something. Like it was like gold plated laser infused or whatever. But yeah, like this is so cute. I love the pink stone. My pearl earrings that I'm wearing. I forget where I got those from. And this one is like a honker. But, you know, sometimes you just gotta go big or go home, you know? But uh, I love citrine. It's like, it was a lot bigger on me. So I had to cut it and kind of adjust it, but it's silver. So it won't do a lot of damage, but it looks yellow, but it's actually like really kind of orangey. Like I love it. It's so pretty. I love like clear kind of like cubic zircona, kind of like crystally looking, diamond looking if you may say. I love citrine, but particularly the citrine that looks more like orangey, kind of like whiskey-esque tone orangey, like that warm tone. I love like African amethysts, I think that's what they're called because they have more of a, like anything with like a, a you know, like a, a brighter pinky, bluey shine, like that aren't so blue, it's more like pink, I say. Um, I think that's what it is, but I love African amethysts. I find that so cool. Um, moonstones are nice. I don't mind an opal, I like a blue fire opal. Um, I don't know why, but I'm not a big fan of emeralds. Uh, my birthstone stone is May. I don't really like emeralds. I don't know why. I think emeralds are pretty. I like a raw emerald better than like a, a made one. Like I think those are gorgeous, but I don't really have them in my collection. I'm just not a big fan of wearing them. Um, I like sapphire. I like a, to particularly like a deep blue. Or like I love a blue topaz, like a light sky. Um, I've been getting into like garnet. I never really liked garnet before. I have like a little cuppy of stones, so. Cause I need fucking help, that's what I need. I need more fucking help than anyone here in the world, cause I'm just so weird. But yeah, like stuff like that, I figured I'd just show you. But stuff like that, you know. That was pretty cool, and so I was like, ooh. I don't know. I'm not trying to be scatterbrained, I guess. I'm just, I guess it's more or less just the fact of, like, just trying to, I don't know, like, I could just tell you your fortune or tell you anything and then just have you leave and just carry on about your day, but I don't know. I think the one thing that I like about, um, it's just the more or less kind of, like, having people feel welcome and not feel like, okay, this and done, you know? But anyways, let's get back to here. The power of meow, activate pure mantra. So not just now, the power of you, the power within. You know, find your own power. And once you find that power, you know, don't let it go. Cultivate calm, you know? Wax on, wax off, you know? You have to kind of in, in moments of mental um, exhaustion, just kind of resuscitate yourself, you know, that's something that you, I feel like, are neglecting. Um, let's see any love cards, and then we'll get a moon card, and then I will send you off wherever you go, wherever you do. We'll get a few love cards, and then we'll get a moon card. So you need a lot of self-love though. Oh. I sense you it's like some sort of relationship. Maybe it's yourself. Maybe it's a relationship with the Grim Reaper, the relationship is over. No second chances grow and transform your life. I sense that, you know, you just kind of have to accept that, you know, things are nothing's the same as it was or nothing will be the same as it was and that says here heart with the key welcoming love meeting the one opening your heart getting together perfect 
I feel like maybe you're trying to be more open um, with yourself and like maybe trying to like kind of um, kind of like uh, what's the words be open opening your heart I feel like you're really trying to fix yourself you're trying to unlock things that why things hurt you why things bother you and trying to unlock your feelings because maybe you were emotionally cut off maybe with a person maybe with yourself that you're trying to unlock that you're trying to unlock being cut off and also too i sense that maybe you've um like if it is a person then maybe you've like kind of mistrusted them so you're trying to be more open with them and not be as critical as you were um, and if it's more of a self thing, like I just sense that you're trying to be less critical of yourself and be more open with the fact that, you know, you can't be so cynical of everything your whole life. And maybe if you have like a lot of ego or self-esteem issues, that's what kind of holds you back. You think yourself a loser, but you're only a loser if you think you are a loser and act like a loser therefore and what I mean by act like a loser is by taking it out on other people and being an asshole and just kind of not caring about how other people feel by you being negative just because you have a lot of negativity about yourself you know that's what really creates a loser you know just because you have negative self-esteem doesn't mean that you have to treat other people rudely or meanly but um and if you do have negative self-esteem like find little things to remember that, you know, you are your own person and that nobody's perfect, you know? And think positively. I know that's easier said than done, but you yeah, just got to break up separation, stop the pattern, silent treatment, stop the pattern. So like I said, maybe if you are negative and stuff like that, you're trying to stop this pattern. Um, I sense like, I get the words one night stand or like travel or like maybe you're meeting up with an ex or meeting up with somebody um, and like you just have this like kind of toxic tie to kind of always kind of make sure that they're okay before you're okay or just kind of go back to them but you're trying to like you see like that there was things in the situation where you feel like there wasn't really a lot of give and take it was just more or less take and like you feel very used by it so what you're trying to do is just kind of like stop that pattern you know not text them as much as you do or not text them at all um trying to break that pattern you know you realize that you can't be like you realize that you have to grow from the situation that you can't just be hung up on it and what i mean by hung up is just kind of like pleasing other people before you please yourself i think that's a big thing and if it doesn't have anything to do with a love interest or just a person in general, um, you're also trying to slowly and surely stop that negativity, that negative thinking for yourself. That negative talk that you always have in your brain. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna get like probably two more cards and then get a moon card. Oh, flip out here? That's something flipped out here. What are you doing, bunny? Haha. -ha coffin endings bring new beginnings what you're trying like i feel like the biggest thing that you're not seeing is that you feel like in your mind you have to please everyone or you have to please everybody you know you can't cut off people entirely you have to at least be civil and be nice but that's the thing though you fear by not moving on from that it'll just set you back and like you'll just be stuck in loneliness or stuck in whatever but like sometimes endings bring new beginnings and it says here endings do bring new beginnings and that's what it is you know you grow you evolve you change into something liberation transition you transform yourself and obviously you like i said before you're never the same person as you were before but um 
if anything, you're, you get, you become, you have more of character coming to you, you know, and all that kind of stuff. You fear it's the end, but it's not, you know. I feel like there's no such thing as the end. There's always something as rebirth or just... Sorry, I thought a card flipped out there. But, um, yeah. <laughs> I can hear you chewing. She's chewing dust, one of them is. Um, the dragonfly, be lighthearted, finding out things coming into light, adapt, change, and heal. You know, you're trying to heal yourself from, I think, your own demons. You have a lot of demons that you're trying to heal yourself from. Five, 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 five just appeared on the screen. But you're trying to heal yourself from those demons and stuff. Looking at your photos, missing you, nostalgia, making new memories. I think you're looking at old photos and kind of reminiscing about it and just being like, wow, it's so different from now. You know, it's, this is so different from what happened then. Like, kind of like, um, you know, just kind of doing that. But yeah, you know, you just have to kind of evolve, you know. Things need to evolve for you in order to change your perspective. You have to be more open to change. What are you doing? Hey! It's Anastasia. A little pain in my ass. I have the food up there and she's probably trying to climb up the shelf trying to get the treats and the food because that's what she does. So yeah. You know, it's just a matter of evolving. So let's take some moon cards here. Yeah. It's been a while since I've done this kind of stuff. It really has. I haven't. The moment I stopped doing the video, I stopped. I just didn't touch the cards whatsoever. And it's kind of different being back. Yeah, that's very interesting. The end of a tough cycle approaches. Full moon in Capricorn. I did say something about Capricorn and stuff before. And then don't let your past hold you back. It's time to take action. New moon in Aries. Full moon to new moon. Shedding old skin. Transforming your life. A time for healing. A solemn moon. You know, you need some time for healing. A time for yourself and everything like that. Um, she's so bold. She's doing something. But yeah. You know, you just need some time for yourself. Time for healing and, you know to just kind of take things in and stuff like that that's what you need that's what you hope for that's what you strive for and it's good to strive for that box all chewed up because of bunnies that's what happens when you don't put stuff on a shelf that's what happens but yeah i hope this helps i hope this you know funny things bring some clarity and whatnot um, I hope my rambling, I guess, brought some sort of amusement or comfort, whatever it is. Because sometimes we just need to kind of shut off our brains and, and shut off what sucks and what hurts. To uh, kind of focus on, okay, that hurts, but let me try to do something. You know, like a, like we're just, can you not? So bold. But, uh, yeah, you know, that's what we tend to do to ourselves and stuff like that. You know, don't be so negative. Don't be so hurt and doubt yourself because you are you. And if you're going through some sort of hardship, hard time, look at that. I forgot these cards in here. But Paradise came out first. So maybe it's a reason why I forgot them there. I got this two on the top here. I got twin flames, wedding rings, sword and rose, mirror, and then it was all paradise. So I thought those those were the, the cards that were missing from the deck. Those were oh dear. Those were the cards that were missing from the deck. But yeah. 
put a... You've got this. Just keep in mind that you've got this. You know, you just gotta keep judging on you've got this. So, I hope that helps. I hope um, in some way you have some sort of happy day where you just kind of take things in. And she's staring at me, Bailey. But, uh... I'm trying to watch out in case they try to chew some of the wires over there. Um, but yeah, so yeah, sometimes you just need that help, self-help, I mean, for yourself and everything like that. So I hope this helps, really, I hope it does. Um, I'm probably going to drink my water and then sit under a fan because even though it is fall, actually very humid where I'm at. If you can't tell, because my hair is so humid AF. I'm probably going to go. I was just got done watching The Little Mermaid, so that made me feel really good. The, the remake one. The remake one I really like. I really love that one. I usually don't like the remakes more than the original. I don't know why. That's just how I am, but I really love the remake for The Little Mer Mermaid for this one. I just feel like it has more meat and potatoes. It has more what's the word uh just more character more charisma like i, I always love the original but i love that one so yeah watch the little mermaid if you it's a really good really good movie if you didn't uh take a chance because i know a lot of people don't really want to see it, but i think it is really really worth to watch and, you know the characters are just lovely my favorite um is melissa uh and poor unfortunate souls i love how she sings that it's just amazing and her character too, I love it. I love it. But yeah. And like I love how they gave uh Eric a song as well too. I thought that was cool. I love how like it's just more like it's less um them falling in love in love with each other because they're trying like she's trying to break this curse and like he's just hung up on this mystery girl and trying to settle down. Like I love how it's more of character. Like in the remakes I really do love that. So yeah, I hope this helps, and I hope, you know, you have a good time wherever you are and everything like that. I hope that, um, wherever you are, kind of, uh, you find some sort of peace and sort of clarity and stuff like that. So yeah, that's all I'm gonna say. Go watch The Little Mermaid, it's actually really good. I love her hair. Her hair is so pretty. I love the color. Reminds me of my own hair. I actually, not from The Little Mermaid, but it was Rose from Titanic that made me really love red hair. I loved that. The redness and the long, and it made me feel good because she has kind of curls, and I have curls. So yeah. But surprisingly, my favorite Disney princess is not Ariel. It's Pocahontas. It's like a mix of Pocahontas and Merida. Merida. You know, it's Merida. I haven't watched that movie in a while. Wow. I even butchered her name. How special am I? Just because, like, I love their characters. And I love... I love... Their spirit. I just love that. And plus, the movies are great. I love Brave. I know a lot of people say Meredith, but it's Merida. Um, but yeah. I just... I love it. I love Pocahontas. I love that movie. Do you want to say goodbye? Or are you going to run away from me again and jump out of my arms? It's the only way. Meow! Nope. <gasps> you going to come back? You want to say goodbye? Come on. Girl. Come on. Come on. If I don't look at her, then she'll come by. She's too busy trying to eat the bookcase. If you eat my files, we are going to have issues. She ran away. She knew I was gonna pick her up, that's why. But yeah, um, I hope this, you know, helps. I hope my rambling kind of gave you some soothing and, and whatnot. But uh, until then, whenever I decide to uh, put up a new tarot video or just a new chat video, because I kind of like, I don't know what I'm gonna do. I don't really know what I'm gonna But yeah, I just hope, you know, you're happy, you're healthy, you're safe, and wherever you are. Take care and yeah. Ah, oh, sorry, I don't have a bun to say goodbye. But I have Anastasia. Anastasia! 
she did a really bad no-no like she peed on the floor she had a little accident and sat right in that pee and she was not happy because mommy had to clean her booty she was not happy but all right i'm gonna let you go so have a good one bye